So I haven't really been working on this project that much, but one thing I just recently added was the ability to share icons on social media. So if I were to go to any of these icons in my collection, for example, let's go to this feather here. You can actually click on share on Twitter and that'll take you over to Twitter. And I will get this URL saying a falling feather. And if I go ahead and tweet this, so let's go to my profile. You can see that I actually get a nice little preview of the icon here and you get a description here. And if you click on this, it'll take me directly to my website and show that icon. So I wanted to show you how I achieved this in Next.js because it's actually pretty easy to do. Um, let me delete this from my Twitter real quick. This is one thing I really like about Next.js and just server-side rendering in general is that if you ever need social media sharing features, like it's easy to do. Okay, so I have an endpoint called pages slash icon slash image ID. And that is the URL that we just got redirected to when someone tries to share or click on the link that was on Twitter. And there's also a collections page. So let me, let me start with this collections page. So I pulled in a third party library called share react or react share. Let's go to the top and see where this is imported. So up here, we import Twitter share button from the react share library. So if I go to NPM and type react share, this is the library I'm using. It looks like they have a lot of capabilities of sharing with other social medias. Honestly, I just care about Twitter at this point. So I pulled that in and once you have that button that you import, you pass it a URL that you want the users to be redirected to when they click on your tweet. And then also you can title it with uh, whatever you want. So I just added the prompt that was used for generating the icon and that's gonna show up in your tweet with a, a Twitter icon and some text. Okay, so nothing too significant going on here. When they click on that drop down and click on the share button, That'll basically go to Twitter, automatically set up the, um, the social sharing thing. And that's about it. But the important thing that I wanna talk about is that the URL that you're sharing has to have some metadata in the head. So in order for stuff to show up in that card, that Twitter card, you have to actually specify some Twitter card and Twitter site and Twitter title properties um, using the meta tag. I mean, these are all important. I think you kind of have to have all these to get to work properly. But if you notice here, I am saying the image is going to point to an S3 image location. I also had to have OG image as well. Um, I believe OG stands for open graph, which is like a protocol you can use like sharing some social media things. You can set a title here. So I have OG title. And then I also have like Twitter title. I have description. A lot of these are kind of just like duplicated, but I guess you can customize them for different social medias if you want to. And then finally we have a URL. So this needs to point to like the URL that um, is kind of linked to in the tweet. So once you have all this stuff set up, the moment you share the icon, like Twitter behind the scenes, I believe hits your URL. It crawls your page for this metadata. And then it's gonna display that in the card like you saw before. So the great thing about Next is that you can actually customize these for every single page and the customization can come from your server side rendering execution. So like notice here, these are all dynamic. These things are coming in dynamically. This is a hard coded domain, which I probably should fix It's bad code. But overall, I just wanted to share that with you all because it actually is pretty easy to get set up. And then lastly, there is a, an app component here. So if you shared the site in general, like if you just share icon generator AI on Twitter, there's different images that are used for sharing my main um, page. So let's just show you this real quick. If I go here and type in icongeneratorai.com, you'll notice that we get a nice card that automatically pops down. Again, this is because inside the underscore app, this is a default header metadata. So if anyone were to share a link on my site, this is a default. And then later on in your pages, if you ever were to overwrite some of these things, um, for example, on that one page I just had, these will overwrite anything that was defined in underscore app and use those instead. So yeah, I think that's about all I kind of been working on. If you guys have used this site, um, feel free to go and share one of your icons. I think it would help me out and just kind of be a cool stress test to see like how it works if people are tweeting about my, um, my app. Oh, I just noticed a bug. You can't collapse this by clicking outside. I need to fix that. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I just wanted to share a new feature with you all and kind of walk you through how I did it. Uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, press the bell icon. And like always, I have a Discord channel. You're welcome to join. If you just want to find a place to hang out with some other developers or maybe ask questions if you're stuck. Have a good day. Happy coding.